Hi, this is Tim Pierce for Pure Guitar Magazine. Today, I'm gonna to layer some parts on a song. I like to start with the chorus first and work backwards. And I like to try and make the chorus as big and as wide as possible. What I've done is layered some clean downbeat chords on each chord change, just to get us a step ahead. And now I'm gonna try uh, part number two. So I've done two dry parts that are really clean, and these days in music, guitars are more clean than dirty, so a few years ago, these parts would have had more distortion on them, but I'm trying to keep everything as clean as possible. And I'm about to do another part that's gonna be some driving eighths, and the modern thing about this part is they'll be up high rather than down low. They'll be high, clean driving eighths rather than low, dirty driving eighths. And because I've done the first two parts dry, I've earned a little bit of delay. I try and do most everything dry, and then uh, fire up my guilty pleasure and uh, add some delay here and there. Here we go. So now I listen to this chorus and I'm craving something on the second half to build it like a wedge so it gets bigger as it goes along. The chorus is 16 bars so I'm going to come in at bar 9 halfway through with a part that's up high and kind of floats above the other parts. So now the chorus is built up pretty well, but I'm craving some meat on the bottom end. So I'm going to play some low eighth notes driving in the first half and then go to power chords in the second half. But I'll try and keep it modern. The eighth notes will be single note and the power chords will be half distorted. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a solo over this thing. So uh, solos are kind of rare in pop music these days, as we all know, but um, I'm going to do one anyway. Here we go. Here's one more solo. I'm gonna go for it a little more. So thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. Thanks for coming to Pure Guitar Magazine.
See you next time.